We are learning new details about what led to last Thursday's deadly incident on the set of the movie Rust. Cinematographer Helena Hutchins died after she was accidentally shot while rehearsing a scene in the Western film. The person who pulled the trigger was actor Alec Baldwin. He had been handed a prop gun, which he was told was safe, but investigators believe it was loaded with a live round. The CBC's Susanna De Silva joins us now live in Washington. So, Susie, what is the latest on this investigation? Yeah, well, we're getting better details of those final moments when the incident happened, when she was, in fact, shot. And they're coming from statements from those who were involved in the film, as well as court documents related to search warrants, affidavits. And the latest ones are including statements from the director, who was also injured, as well as a cameraman working on the project. Now, they detailed that at that time, Alec Baldwin, who was producer and star of that film, was rehearsing a scene where he was sitting in a church pew, was supposed to pull the weapon and fire it towards the camera that he had been told that it was, quote, a cold gun, which means that it is supposed to be safe to fire. But it discharged and it hit Helena Hutchins in the chest. It then hit the director in the shoulder. Now, the documents do say that the cameraman says that Baldwin had been careful when using firearms previously, that there was another time where he made sure a child actor was not nearby when a weapon was going to be discharged. But there were also signs of trouble on the set that the majority of the camera crew had walked off over issues of housing and payment. The LA Times have reported that other staffers had complained about safety issues issues and safety concerns and previous discharges of weapons, though the production company says it was not aware of those issues. But these are things that are concerning to Hutchins' former mentor. You can see the social media stuff that I'm seeing as well, and, and it sounds like there was a lot of unhappiness um, because um, she, Helena, lost her camera crew the morning of um, the accident. And uh, um, one of their specific complaints was protocols over safety. Now, we also heard uh, in a Facebook post from the chief electrician involved in this project who said this was unjustified, it should not happen, and he blamed, quote, negligence and unprofessionalism amongst those who are handling the weapons. And now, Susanna, hundreds of mourners gathered this past weekend also at two vigils to remember the cinematographer. Tell us a little bit more about what took place. Yeah, vigils in New Mexico and in California to remember her, to remember someone who is described as an, a rising star, someone who was very, very dedicated to her craft. What she was doing was a trailblazer as a female cinematographer. So a lot of people remembering her, what she had contributed already in her short career to this industry, but also saying that it is important to not only remember her and remember her life, but also to use her death as a wake-up call to overall safety concerns in the industry. It shouldn't happen anywhere to anyone. And we have to move beyond the anger and try to make it so it doesn't happen to anybody again. Absolutely unnecessary, absolutely heartbreaking and gutting. And um, no, no scene, no, no, no project is worth someone's life. And it's just, it's, it's an absolute heartbreaker. Also heard from her husband on social media posts on the weekend talking about how devastating this has obviously been to him and their nine-year-old son and talking a little bit about her legacy moving forward, that he has been in touch with Alec Baldwin. They were seen together over the course of the weekend. He also encouraged people to donate to a scholarship that's been set up at the American Film Institute. And also the community is rallying around them. They have set up a fundraiser that's already raised more than $200,000 to help him and his son move on from this tragedy. Arthi? All right, thanks for this. That is the CBC Susanna De Silva in Washington.